when setting up your rings, here's the way I do it. I know we're going to get different opinions. People are going to say, oh, that's not the way you do it. Well, I'll tell you what, this is the way I do it. I'm going to keep doing it the way I do it because guess what? I'm in the industry and it works for me. <laughs> okay, so your bottom ring, in fact, you can see it. I'll point to my thumb. See the gap? Your next one up on there is going to be on the other side. Uh, where's that? Right there. I'm pointing to it with my thumb, with my shitty camera. Then your next ring up is going to be lined up here, and then the next, the top ring there. So there you go. So if you look there, you'll see the gap there. That's the next ring, and then the top ring. Here you go. Very top ring. Where are we at? Over there. It's moved around since I played with the piston. <laughs> to make life easy when, in, when set, installing the piston in the barrel as you get ready to assemble, what I'll do is line up the barrel based off of where it's going to sit on the motor. So this is going to sit this way. I will then mark the barrel. Makes life easy. Same thing with the piston. You'll actually mark it based off the arrow, and then you'll mark the underside, just in case you lose track of it while you're doing it. What you're going to do is literally take this now, okay, honed to size, cleaned, um, uh, cross-hatched or dingleberry, whatever you want to call it, hone, uh, and then wiped clean with paper towels. I use WD while doing that. Done. This barrel's already been, that's all been done to this already. So this is not out of the box. You have to do all those type things. Okay, so you're going to take it and flip it just like that. Just make sure you don't flip it this way. <laughs> so take it, flip it over. There you go. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with the piston and flip it exactly the same way. Now, I use this tool for installing rings. I'm sorry, I looked on it. There's no branding except for Taiwan sticker. I've had this thing for about 20 plus years. I love this thing. This is for installing the rings. I know it looks like some uh, animated or mechanical crab, but it's not. Uh, I use this when installing the piston in the barrel. Same thing, I looked at it. Only thing I can find on here is it's telling me to wear eye protection. That's it, but I don't see any branding or anything on it. But um, I love this thing. This is same thing, 20 years. I think I bought these both at the same time. Um, I'm going to basically put this guy on here. Take my trusty hammer, not because I'm mad, but I'm gonna take it and bump the wrist pin, put that baby in. Now you're going, well, why didn't you soak the piston with oil and all that? Okay, these are being shipped to a customer. Most likely these are going to sit around and everything on it. Once I get done, I'm gonna flip this back over. This is after the piston's in the barrel. I'm gonna flip this back over and then I'm gonna soak it with WD. I'm gonna bag it and then ship it that way. Now for the customer, it's not a bad idea to either pull the piston out or when you go to install it, oil the crap out of it. Pull this piston up till it's all the way back here, flip it over, drench it with oil there and slide the piston back up. It's a good idea. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. This is gonna be multiple videos because I'm at three minutes and 18 seconds. Okay, so I snapped that one on. This one, it's adjustable, you, different pins, like uh, 94 bores here, 96, 98, and 101, it uses this like up here. Uh, I noticed that the uh, 92s, 90.5 uses it. But it's got a little adjustable. This thing's great. It's worked. I don't have any issues. I know there's better tools out there, I'm sure, but this one works fine for me. The only downside is I need my other hand, which is holding the camera. So I will put this thing together and then fast forward. So here we go. Oh, that didn't work, dang it. It's supposed to be an art form to this. I screwed up, snapped my fingers. It's now six months later, and I'm still working on the same thing. I don't know how this happened, but I'm late on rent now, six months. No, I'm joking. Um, okay, so this is in there, basically. This would be your best time. Now, on your flat side, you would put your button or your uh, your clip, your two art clip, or if you're using still stock ones, you'd put your stock one in here. Is there a downside stock ones? Not on most applications, no. Usually, most RPMs and everything, you're, you'll be fine. Um, but on the flat side, you put that in. So when you take this now and glue this baby up and push it in the case, and then all you got to do is slide this guy out and you know, push it in the wrist pin. You're going to oil it and do all that. Uh, and then you can put your clip in. But So I'm going to take this and uh, push this down. It's easier if you slide it off a little bit because otherwise, you put it over here, what's happening? You're sealed up with the rings. You're compressing air. You're not a motor. Sorry, an engine. An engine, not a motor. An engine. 
is go on Google it. Look up motor. <laughs> For those of you that want to correct me constantly when I say motor, you'll be disappointed. All right, there you go. Now, what I will do is I will take this guy and just go literally. Let's do that. There you go. Good amount. It's an instant fog in here. And I will bag this and ship it. Uh, if any of you want this type of service or you want someone to do this, you can send me your pistons. I do. Uh, so what I was just doing is filing the rings, setting up the ring gap for this guy. This is a turbo application. Yes, an 85.5 turbo. Um, this is um, going on an 84.85. Yeah, I know. Sounds confusing, but that's, a, that's this combo, which is kind of a neat kind of combo. That's kind of a square motor. But um, so this is a... Uh, uh, something that I do offer, I, I've been doing this forever for people, where they'll send me stuff, and they want me to assemble it, and then they're going to assemble the rest. Go ahead, take the credit for it. I don't care. Um, and then I'm going to do all the little stuff that you don't have the tools for, you don't have the time, you don't have the patience, whatever. I'll do it for you. Uh, this particular setup is I gap the rings for turbo application, file them, uh, pre-assembling this for them. Uh, I already cleaned, honed, and everything like that. So basically, once this guy gets this, all he's going to do is glue her up on the bottom and assemble it. And he's ready to go. All right, let's move on to the next thing. There you go, for those of you that like this. I sure do like this tool. 